Good afternoon, Mr. Wilton. Good afternoon. So, where we left off before lunch, we were talking about O.D. Perry and what gang he was a member of before his death in 2011. Do you recall that? Yes, ma'am. And I asked you what OTF was. What? Can you repeat it? Yeah. What is O? Your mic skip. I'm sorry, sir. What is OTF? OTF is only the family. BDs. You said BDs? Yeah. So OTF is Black Disciples. Yeah. Is OTF a name for one set of the Black Disciples or multiple sets of the Black Disciples? Objection, Judge. Foundation. Time. You asked questions about the time. You said OTF is a group of Black Disciples. Was that the case in 2011 when OD died? No, they was just Lamron. They were just Lamron? Yeah, OTF kind of followed right behind OD Perry. You get OTF maybe 2013? So 2013, 2012, pardon me, it was 2012. OTF, it was like really just like a little abbreviation that was getting quoted at first because everybody was talking about only the gang, only the family, shit like that. But it was taken serious, maybe, like 2013. Okay, so you said 2012 or 2013. I would say, yeah. 2013 is when OTF, only the family, started getting used. Yeah, like, and when you say getting used, used for the group of the Black Disciples, can you repeat that? I didn't hear you. I When you said 2013, that's when it was used to refer to groups of the Black Disciples, correct? I mean, nah, because like I had said earlier, you know, it's not only Black Disciples when you're speaking upon that. Okay, so I just want to understand. So was O-Block a part of OTF? Yeah. And you said Lamron. Was Lamron a gang that was a part of OTF? It's all the same thing. When you say all the same thing, I want to make sure I understand you. All the same thing as in they're clicked up or all the same thing as something else. They're all the same gang, like STL, Tukaville. Remember I was explaining to you earlier? So STL and Tukaville, they're the same thing or same gang? Yes. And are those GDs, Gangsta Disciples? No, see, we we mixed. We 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 truly mixed gang and real and real and every faction of that. Like we got BDs, GDs, Stones, CVLs, Four Corner Hustlers. Okay. So in 2013, when OTF started being used, like just said, was STL Tukaville a rival of OTF? Yeah. Okay. They were rivals of OTF. Is that fair to say that OTF is a name of more than one set of gangs? You said Lamron. You said Old Block. Well, it's all the same. It's really all the same thing, though. So they're all Old Block and Lamron are under OTF. Same thing. All the same thing. You know, it's just different crowds. This is my homie, so we ain't gonna claim O Block. We O Block, but we OTF. We on this part of it. Everybody gonna be claiming and say, yep, I could be from the same hood, but everybody don't have the same crowds, you know? So, like, we all the same gang. Like, we really is all the same gang. It's just this crowd, that crowd, that crowd. But at the end, we all together, though. We all walk in the same blocks. We all go to the same funeral. We all gonna mourn the same person that passed away. So, I see. So you're saying, when you say we, are you just giving an example of O Block? No, I'm just saying. Talking about OTF? When I say we, I'm just speaking in like, we as in my, if this is my gang, right? But I told you STL, EBT, Gyro City, 
Tukaville, right? Are you familiar with what I said there? Yeah, that's a lot of names, right? Yeah, it's a lot of, take a long time to say, names, right? That's where I was going with it. Okay, everybody, everybody got their own crowds. We all the same thing, though. We all the same game. We are the same game. I repeat, we are the same game. It's just everybody else use a different name in front of their shit. I see. So when you say we are the same game, you mean what you said, just said. STL, EBT, Tukaville, C, like my hood. Excuse me, one at a time. You can't talk over each other. Oh, my fault. Let me just ask that question again. When you say we the same gang, that you were just saying STL, EBT, Tukaville, you all the same gang? Yes, ma'am. All GDs, you said? Yeah. Okay. So when you said OTF, that's a separate rival side. Yeah. But similar to how you said a couple different names, couple different names that are all the same gang. Okay. For their side, though. For their side? Yeah. And yesterday I asked you some questions about THF, and you testified that THF was a rap group. Objection, asked and answered, overruled. I'm going to ask that again. Yesterday I asked you some questions about THF. Do you remember that? No, no. I'm not even, I was, I was finna just, no, I do not. Okay, so I'm going to ask you about, is THF a part of OTF? Yeah, little Dirk signed one of them. Or something like that. I didn't hear you say that again. Please, slower. I say, yeah, little Dirk signed one of them, or two of them, something like that. So, like, like I was explaining yesterday, like, I don't really, like, anything when it comes to, like, gang affiliation and stuff like that, you can only get old things out of me. When it comes down to the new stuff, like I said yesterday, I repeat it, like, I'm a YouTuber. I only really know about the shit that got leaked to the internet. Stuff that I can read. Information that's already online type shit. But when it comes to like THF and shit, I just thought, I thought they ass was rappers. I know that's fool cousin from down there, but you thought they were who? Rappers. And you said they're with Little Dirk? Yeah, his cousins. His cousins? Yeah, one of them. Or his family. Is that, yeah, one of them. What you're saying, his family? Ain't one of them his cousins or something like that? Azul, Bazul. Shorty got cousins and shit from the, excuse my language. He got cousins and stuff from down here. So I'm assuming like, you know, Mr. Wilton, I think you said you're going to talk about people who are dead. Is that right? Is that what you said in part of your testimony just now? Yeah. So is Little Dirk alive or dead? He's alive. He's alive? I want to turn back to Jakaira and O.D. Perry. And you testified this morning that Jakaira told you she killed O.D. Perry. Is that correct? Yeah. And I want to talk about the situation. What day did she kill O.D. Perry? Tuka Day. What's Tuka Day? August 10th. August 10th of what year? 2011. Same year Tuka was, Tuka was killed. August 10th, 2011, the same, which is the same year Tuka was killed? Yeah, same year, I mean. So 2011 was when Tuka was killed. Yeah. And so August 10th, 2011, is when Kyra killed O.D. Perry. Yeah, Kyra and B.T. Okay, I want to ask you about Kyra specifically right now. You said Tuka Day. Can you explain why August 10th is Tuka Day? It's his birthday. August 10th is Tuka birthday. It was the first day that we was actually able to celebrate him being deceased, you know? That was our first friend that really died, you know? 
he was 15, 16. Like, Took was our first friend that really died. So we all had mixed emotions on what was going on, you know? And none of us never really dealt with losing a friend. We all were still in grammar school, high school. You know, our friend just got killed at the bus stop. So Tuka Day was his birthday. It was his day of celebration. Instead of us mourning over him and being hurt that day that he was gone, you know, we was partying, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was partying for him for his birthday, you know? So we made his birthday his day. Technically, it is his day anyway, but we celebrated. We just celebrated more harder because we took a loss. Unfortunately, he wasn't here to turn 17, and all of us turned 17 or 18 that year, you know? So Tuka Day came. So fair to say that day was a special day, yeah, specifically to honor Tuka, yeah. And did Ja'Kyra tell you she killed O.D. Perry on that day, on August 10th, 2011? Yeah, we were shooting, not we. Duck was shooting a video, you feel me? And my little sister and my homie, they went and slid. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I didn't hear that. I said Duck was shooting a video and my sister and my homie went and slid. I want to talk a little bit more about that. You said Duck was shooting. Was it a music video? Yeah. And where about was he shooting this music video? We were shooting it on roads, 62nd and roads, in between the tea alleys, in between 63rd, and 62nd. And is that STL territory? Yeah, it's gyro. Wait, yeah, same thing, yeah. Gyro or STL territory? Yeah, I don't want to confuse nobody because that's what we've been going through, a little confusion where it comes down to this. So I'm gonna stick to one name. Yeah, it's STL area. And so you said it was on a tea alley? And Duck was there, I assume? Yeah. I mean, that was a superstar. That was our superstar. Of course he was there. He was shooting a video. A rap video? Yeah. We was all just piling around a big guy, you know? And you was there as well? For sure. About how many other people would you say were there besides you and Duck? Man... It was like, okay, it's like, it was over 40. It was over 40 people. It was over 50 kids outside, not including adults. I don't even count the grown people that was out there. But it was more than 50 kids outside, like in a teenage. It's more than 50 teenagers outside. And was this a Tuka Day celebration and a music video shoot? Or, yeah, I mean, it was the first Tuka Day, you know? Everybody want to show off. They knew spray paint shirts. You know how that, you know, everybody wants to show their gear off, you know. At one point, we went and toured the whole Chicago, like, right now, yeah. Yeah, we toured the whole Chicago right now because Shorty and them got some money, you know. And everybody coattailing. And everybody feeling like, oh, yeah, if I get into it with dude, I'm going to get it on, too. They ain't sign me all ass. Y'all ass still sitting out there broke as shit. I'm broke, so... All right, I want to focus back. Just try to focus you back on that day. All right, so you're out on the block. Is it daytime or nighttime? It was night. I was out there all day, though. I made it out there like 9 o'clock in the morning. I was out there riding my bike, just chilling. So all day event, but all day. When did Kyra approach you and tell you that she killed O.D. Perry? That was night. Was that daytime or nighttime? That was nighttime. That was like 11 o'clock. That was like 11 o'clock. Everything just boiling down. Video, cameraman. We was out there shooting dice. You said about 11 o'clock. Is that what you said? Somewhere like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? Yeah. And when it was definitely late, late in the evening, yeah. And when Kyra approached you 
and you had this conversation, was anyone else with you in Cairo then? Of course not. She didn't even move like that. She like, only reason I'm comfortable even speaking on my sister right now is because she's not here. Like in real life, there's certain shit that's not even tolerated, like period, point blank, you know? So it's not tolerated to talk on live people and what they've done. Not, period. That's why a lot of people go to jail nowadays because motherfuckers don't know how to keep their mouth closed on the internet. People like to bap on the internet. You want this attention. That's why certain people end up in positions and predicaments. People need to learn how to let the internet go. So let's let the internet go for a second. Let's go back to this evening in 2011. What did Kyra tell you in that conversation? She like, shit, we just caught dude. Who? She, we just caught O. O what? Can you speak a little more into the mic and a little slower so everybody can hear you? She, like, we all, we on rolls. They come pull up. She wants to check it out. I'm not getting it. I'm sorry, Mr. Walton. Can you slow it down a little bit just so that the court reporter and everybody can hear you? Sorry to ask you this again. So what did Kyra tell you in that conversation about OD? She like, hey, check it out. She pulled me to the side. We just caught dude. Who? She, oh. I'm like, yeah? She said, yeah. So I just want to make sure I understand. She said she just caught dude. Uh Uh-huh. And you responded who? I said, who? She like, and what did she say then? She like, oh, who did you understand O to be? O.D. O.D. Perry, the nigga who killed Tuka. And he died on a fool's birthday. So it was like a win-win for us. And she thought it was significant that Kyra went and killed O.D. Perry on Tuka Day. Kyra put her big boy drawers on and did something that folks in them couldn't do because it took a female to do it. And it's a whole bunch. It was a whole bunch of niggas from my block. Was that retaliatory killing? Ain't no killing without killing. Ain't no killing without killing. Why did she kill O.D. Perry? Why did he kill Tuka? You said, why did O.D. Perry kill Tuka? Yeah. Did you understand that O.D. Perry had killed Tuka? Yeah. Our whole block knew that at this point. Once again, it goes back to the internet. Motherfuckers like to run to the internet and front they move. Motherfucker can't be mad at nobody when y'all be sitting in jail, fucking around with this internet, right? Because in real life, I don't know where nobody brains be at when it comes to violence and the internet game. Anytime that you do anything over the internet, what makes you think that this shit not getting saved? What makes you think this shit not gonna get replayed? Mr. Wilton. I want to switch gears a little bit. Okay. And I want to talk about a different shooting. And I want to ask you some questions right now about Del Fisher. Do you know who Del Fisher is? Yeah. Who is Del Fisher to you? He one of the little shorties who got killed on the block. A shorty who got killed on the block? Yeah. Yeah. And when you say the block, are you referring to STL territory? Uh Uh-huh. That was an innocent bystander situation. Like, we show love to Del Fisher, but like, Shorty wasn't from my block. He fixed bikes and shit like that. He, that was a neighborhood mechanic. And when you say innocent bystander, do you mean that was Del Fisher in a gang? No, not ours. He wasn't in a gang? But he did hang out with anybody on the block. No, he hung with Maine. Him and Maine, that was like his god brother. Is Maine a member of a gang? Yeah, Maine one of the guys. One of the guys and not no more though. Nah, Maine went to jail. Maine went to jail maybe like nine years ago. Came home. 
He ain't gang banged since him and Brick went to jail in 2012. Okay, so let's talk about, I want to focus on the time frame when Dell Fisher was killed. Do you know when he died? I don't know the day. Do you know what year it was? I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't. I don't. I don't. Like, Shorty, I repeat, he wasn't one of our, he wasn't one of our homies. He wasn't nobody who we or I feel like I should be keeping up with his death day and stuff like that. Seriously, you know? And it ain't no disrespect to him. I want to understand what you said. Did you say he's not one of your homies? He ain't one of my homies. Like, that ain't no, I ain't gonna slide for no, I ain't gonna fucking up no boots for Dell. But did you know who he was? Of course, I went to grammar school with him. Okay, so you went to school with him. Do you consider him a close, a friend of yours? No, no, I did not. I mean, he's cool. He's somebody I know from, I know him from school. If I need my bike fixed, he gonna fix my flat, fix my chain on my bike. That was him throughout the neighborhood. So you say you don't remember exactly when Del Fisher died. First of all, did Del Fisher have any nickname? Squirrel. What did you call him? Squirrel. Squirrel. Okay. I'm going to call him Squirrel just to have it clear. So did he die? Was it around or the same year that Jakira died? Oh, nah. Uh uh. No. Was it before that? Way before that. Was it the same? Because Dell died right before Tutu. So that had to be. All the shit was in 2011. So 2011, you think about is when he died? Had to be. Dell, more they are. And you said he was killed on the block in STL territory. Did you see Dell Fisher get shot? I did. So you saw Del Fisher or Squirrel get shot. Yeah. I'm going to ask you some questions about when Squirrel got shot. Were you with Squirrel at the time of the shooting? No, I wasn't with him. But he was walking up the street with us. He was like in the front part. He was in the front of us. We was walking. We was coming up St. Lawrence, coming from the store, and he's in front of us. So I want to make sure I heard you. You said... That he was in Squirrel or Fisher was in front of you? Yeah. You said he was walking from the store? Yeah. We was coming from the store, me and my me and my homies. You and your homies. About how many people were you with? Me, little B, Kyra, maybe like five, six people. We was like deep. So five, six people. And you said Squirrel was ahead of you on the block? Yeah, he was in front of, on the street? Yeah, he was in, we all on the same side of the street. It's like the crowd, you know? He ain't with us, so he ain't walking with us, you know? He ain't part of us, so he not walking with us. He walking in front of us, you know? Shit, we made it to the corner, motherfucker jump out and got the, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Yeah, I didn't hear you there. Let me ask you. So you were walking in the street, and I think you said something about the corner? I said when we made it to the corner, motherfucker hopped out and started blowing. When we made it to the corner, somebody jumped out the car and started shooting at us. All right. I'm going to just... When you got to the corner, someone hopped out of the car and started shooting at you? Is that what your testimony is? Uh Uh-huh. If you can just try to talk a little slower, yeah, it's a little hard to hear on the microphone. Okay. Okay. So you saw a person hop out of a car on the corner? Yeah. And did you recognize the person that got out of that car? Yeah. We had mentioned him earlier. Who was the person you saw get out of the car? T-Roy. That's the T-Roy you said we mentioned earlier, and you saw his picture earlier? Yeah. And so, what did you do when you saw T-Roy get out of the car? 
Yeah. I ran, man. I ain't gonna lie. Shorty don't. Shorty spank shit. And if y'all don't know, I'm sorry, sir. Can you repeat, please? I said I ran because shorty spank shit. Okay. So you ran. And when you say shorty spank shit, what is that? Are you talking about T-Roy? Uh-huh. And what do you mean by that phrase? If you get caught out, shorty, you going to die. Because T-Roy's going to shoot you? Is that what I want to, yes, understand what you mean by that? Yeah, you know, shorty was, he was a top scorer. Like, my little troops, Kyra and little B, you know? So when it came to gunplay, when it came to gunplay, T-Roy and shorty, he get wild. You can't take that shit from him. Shorty was getting wild. T-Roy was a shooter? Yeah, for sure. Things get wild. So you said you ran. Did you hear any gunfire when you were running? That just sound like a thunderbolt. I'm sorry, Mr. Walton. I didn't hear your answer. Did you hear any gunshots when you were running? Yeah, I did. Did you see the shooting itself or who he was shooting at? I really had. I had my back turned running through the gangway. But, you know, I look back, you know. Everybody get that peek. Look back. Make sure the motherfucker ain't chasing you. So you say you took a peek or a look back when you were running away? Yeah, you got to. That's mandatory. Make sure the motherfucker ain't chasing you down. To make sure that T wasn't chasing you? You got to make sure he ain't chasing you. And when you bolt. Nah, I ain't saying it like that. Just saying like, you know, forget it. You got to. If a nigga jump out of a car, more than likely, you're going to get chased down. I hear you. I hear you. I'm just trying to understand. So when you did peek back to look back, did you see I saw anything? A th- I saw Adele get, I saw a squirrel getting shot to the gate. Squirrel getting nailed to the gate. You said you saw a squirrel get shot and nailed to the gate? Uh Uh-huh. Who was shooting squirrel? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the saw shooting through the gate. No, I say I saw him shoot squirrel and nail him to the gate. Did squirrel get stuck on or kind of fell into the gate or stuck on the gate? Yeah, he stuck to the gate, you know? You know, after you take so many shots to your face or chest, You know, your body stiff up. Your body going to a real stiff movement. And he was nailed to the gate, like, to the gate, you know? Yeah. And when you said he was shooting, was that T-Roy? Yeah. Fair to say, T-Roy shot multiple times. And, And when this shooting occurred, and you think it was about, you said it was 2011, did you cooperate with law enforcement about who shot squirrel? Of course not. Of course not. Okay. Although, seriously though, like I told you earlier, like, the whole STL did the shit, right? So I wasn't being funny, right? And like, what the fuck I got to prove to anybody in here? Crazy? Ain't nobody in this bitch putting no money in my pocket, boy. Y'all don't pay me. They don't pay me. Ain't nobody in here paying me. I get paid to talk in real life. Like, this shit... That I'm doing right now on Shondell, a real live meeting, over $10,000 just to sit down and have the same conversation. So, on YouTube, you get paid for your interviews? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. But you're not getting paid for your testimony today. I ain't getting jack shit in here. So, like, what I'm saying is, not to be cussing, just keep fluently, but it's part of my... It's part of my, what are you saying? What I'm saying is, right? I have no reason to be in this bitch flodging about little shit. And then they all dead. Like, so you're telling the truth today. Is that what you're saying? I'm always telling the truth. Objection, your honor. Do this look like a face that lie? Sustained.